the one thing I would say right now, people seem to understand that this is a situation where safety is the most important thing we're doing. And so it really hasn't been a struggle. Kids keep their masks on. Dodea Pacific West District Superintendent Dr. Jeff Arrington says to date there has been no positive cases of COVID-19 reported among students or staff. Related to the school or in school or exposure in school or COVID cases, um, we've had zero across those 2,000 students. The key to zero positives is not having a zero tolerance mentality, explains Joint Region Marianas Commander Rear Admiral John Minoni. At the end of the day, I think, I hope everybody realizes that this can't be a zero tolerance uh, mentality when it comes to these schools, just like we can't have a zero tolerance mentality on our ships concerning COVID. You know, we know that when you put lot, big groups of people together, uh, despite your best efforts, you may get a positive in there, and then you just got to fight through it and, you know, you know, don't give up the ship, keep, keep getting after it every day. It was on October 26th when Dodea made the announcement of returning to in-class learning. Dr. Arrington says there are numerous mitigation strategies in place for the health and safety of students and employees that began before arriving in the classroom. About two hours before the student leaves their home, they need to be screened for COVID symptoms. Temperature, um, you know, mom, dad helps check off that they, they don't have any of the symptoms that may give us an indication that they're, they're symptomatic or could be positive for COVID. Then once leaving the home, the mask must go on prior to getting on the bus or dropped off by a parent. Upon entering school, everyone must sanitize their hands. Dr. Arrington says the classrooms have been rearranged to allow for social distancing. A lot of the extra things have been taken out uh, of the room. Some of the, the things that would normally take up more space so that we can spread desks out. We've taken up carpets and things like that that maybe um, would hold on to something like a virus longer. And we also have purchased a a physical barrier, we call them, or a, a, a plastic shielding and for every single student. So even though they are spread out and their masks are on, there's also a physical barrier, a clear plastic barrier or divider that sits on every kid's desk with wings that kind of come out to, from the side of that where their head is. So not only does it encapsulate around the space beside and in front of them, but it has little wings that come out in case the student turns to one side or the other um, and may, you know, have a situation where um, there would be a, an additional risk. Dr. Arrington says with the majority of the school population opting for in-class learning, the class size has remained fairly the same, with about 18 students in a class. He says lunch periods have been spread out in order to reduce the number of students at a time, with the lunch tables having plastic physical barriers for each seat. As for the morale, Rear Admiral Minoni says he's heard both sides of the argument. A lot of teachers and, and parents that I've talked to are very thankful that we're back to in-classroom learning. And then there are some that are concerned, and rightly so. It's been going well, and we're cautiously optimistic that it's going to continue to go well. The students are very much complying with the uh, mitigation measures that the schools have set up. Dr. Arrington says now a month in and their school community is comfortable with the new norm, wanting to expand learning strategies. However, he says what's more important is the optimal learning environment for students being stabilized. Right now, it's about keeping the kids in school where we know they learn the best so that we don't take away their opportunities for right now and the future.